Could we see an aurora tonight? Well, it depends on where you are. There is a possibility. So basically, there was a CME, a sun burp, we like to call it, pointing in the direction of the Earth. And this is called a coronal mass ejection. And there is a G4, or a severe watch in place for this CME. And sometimes that can create some vibrant auroras. Now, it doesn't look like it's as intense as we seen last year. We had auroras seen all across the earth. This is not quite to that level. But northern areas of the United States and a good bulk of Canada actually could see it. So what does this mean? Well, G4 severe watch is in place for the 11th and 12th of November. And auroras as far south as the Midwest could be possible, likely not in the southern U.S. unless it, it really does get strong and you have a very sensitive camera pointed towards the north under some clear skies. This is another kind of explainer is how they form. So you basically get that solar wind coming off the sun, bends around the magnetic field of the earth and it can often create those vibrant colors in the night sky. Very rare towards the south, but possibly further towards the north. And this is actually tonight's Aurora forecast here on the 11th, showing the extent of it there across northern areas of the U.S. So if you see any of any saying, hey, some Aurora is going to be possible tonight, this is where it more than likely is going to be seen in those areas in red. But sometimes it can surprise you and push further towards the south. But don't get your hopes up. But... It doesn't even hurt the look outside. I'm First Coast News meteorologist Robert Spetta with that little bit of an aurora forecast there for you.